just started trolling here, and I mean, Chris got, got a fish on right away. I'm Ted Takasaki with Midwest Outdoors. We're out here on Lake Ponset in South Dakota, and I've got my great buddies here, Chris Killian and Perry Parks from Skinsit. They're the inventors of the Skinsit electric fish skinner. Hopefully we can catch some keeper walleyes today and use that nifty little product in action. We're working on about 14 to 15 foot of water, trolling at about two and a half, 2.3, two and a half mile an hour. Just trolling some crankbaits on lead core. See if we can catch a few more. Got up. another one going here, Dad. All right. Well, on you that 12 that? foot pole there. Oh, Silver bass. Guy, looks like a white bass. Whitey. You can catch all different kinds out in this lake, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Clean her up for dinner tonight. <laughs> another one on this one. Oh, here's another one. Double. Oh, there you go. Double. Perfect. There you go. We got a white bass here. Yeah, we run in a little school white bass. Oh, okay. Nice perch. Nice you betcha. All right. Woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Gonna use the skins on that tonight, huh? Well, out here in South Dakota, there's a lot of these pothole type of lakes. Uh, you know, a lot of them sprout up uh, over the last few years when we had the big high rains and a lot of water coming in. Um, the kind of fish that you can expect out here would be walleyes, yellow perch, white bass. This lake's got a lot of big smallmouth bass in it as well. And uh, uh, just you can really enjoy these lakes because uh, the South Dakota has really put a lot of effort into making it accessible to all different types of fishermen. And uh, it's phenomenal, just phenomenal fishing out here, no doubt about that. Here we go. I got one here. Oh, you got another, one, Ted? Another walleye. I don't know. He's looking pretty decent there from what I can tell from here. All right. Comes mine, Ted. He's staying down too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another oh, keeper. Yeah. Two in a row. Look Perfect. At that, yeah. All right. Well, I tell you what, Perry. Let's go ahead and uh, get in and clean up some of these fish and see uh, see how they taste. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Get them skinned it up and you get bet. them in the skillet. Well, folks, we had a great day on the water. We caught a ton of fish. Had a great time and. My buddy Mike and his friend Schmitty, they did, they, you guys did great too. So now the fun part comes, we get to clean some fish. Exactly, Ted. And what I'm really excited about is using the skins it. Not only is it a great time saver, but also it makes cleaning fish fun. Perry, why don't you tell us a little bit about the skins it and show us how to use it. So what we've done here is we flated some perch, some walleyes, and white bass. So I'm going to start off with a perch fillet and show you how to remove the rib bone and then take the skin off. So the first thing I do is I close the lever and my top finger throttles it. Now a little secret I do is I always use the table for a reference. See how I tip the skinner up, I squeeze, I start it and I move in. Here we go. Removes the rib bone perfectly. Now I flip the fillet over. Now the secret is, is you lay your skins it flat on the table. You don't want to push down when you come in. You want to lay it flat and just slide in. Now one secret is you noticed as I picked up the filet, as I got the skin going, I picked up the filet off the table. Once I get towards the end, I keep my lever squeezed. I just reach underneath and pull the filet off. Then I reach up and just run the unit and out comes the skin. Look at that. Perfect fillet. No rib bone, all your belly meat, no meat left at all on the skin. So now I'll move to a walleye. It's basically the same technique. Again, I'll use the table for a reference. I tip my unit up, I squeeze the lever. See how I use that table? I start the unit and I move in. Again, now I flip my fly over, squeeze your lever, start it up, and just move straight in. Now see how I pick up, and when I get to here, I keep it squeezed and I pull the meat off. Another perfect fly. So now I'm gonna do a white bass. For all you uh, white bass fishermen in that Wolf River area in Wisconsin that go up there in May, you really need to get one of these. There's no limit on those white bass, and I know you guys go up there and catch two or three hundred at a whack, 
This baby will save you more time and give you more meat than you can imagine. Again, we'll take the rib bone right out. I squeeze the lever again. I use the table for reference. I throttle up and I move in. Peels your rib bone right out. Again, see I stop, keep it squeezed, pull your meat off. Look at that. Nothing left. Perfect white bass fillet. Well, Perry, we've got two buckets of big fish, of walleyes, perch, and white bass to clean. We might as well get that skin zit going and clean them up. The skin zit's ready to roll, Teddy. Right. Let's start rolling them out. Perfect. Well, Perry, it was a great fishing day. We caught a lot of fish. We got a nice pile of fillets. Well, I tell you what, folks, the Skins It, a fish skinner on steroids. It's incredible. If you want to check it out, look at www.fishskinner.com. And uh, I'd like to thank all you folks for watching. This is Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.